Hey guys, so I got a lot of requests to do a quick tutorial on how I got that um, dark ash blonde color from basically a dark brown slash almost black hair. Um, so this is just going to be a really quick tutorial just showing you that. So first off, I started off just lifting the hair with just 40 volume developer. And I let that sit on the hair for about 6 hours, maybe more. And this is the color that I got. And... This was just to kick start the process of lifting the hair with bleach and this is the result I got from that so it did lift to a pretty brown color which I really liked. Um, after that I went ahead and started my bleaching process. I used the Kaleida colors mixed with 40 volume developer and a red corrector. This is the results that I got from that. As you can see it is very red. That has a lot, had a lot of red um, undertone that brassy color that I do not like so I went ahead and uh, tried to lighten it a little bit more and also try to get rid of uh, um, some of that dark red undertone that you saw in that last um, clip but this is the result that I got from doing it again with um, quick blue and you can see it's a lot lighter and there's a lot, little bit less of that red undertone after that I um, started my toning process and what I did was I used the Wella color charm in ash blonde I think I used dark ash blonde with the 40 volume developer mixed it up got this consistency and then I just spread it all over the hair and let it sit for about four to five hours um, just to really get that brassy red undertone out so this was the results that I got from that so it did work but not as much as I wanted to so I wanted to go ahead and do it another time but um, this time I decided to use box colors that I got from the drugstore I used L'Oreal Paris um, medium ash blonde as well as a Clairol expert I think I used medium ash blonde in that as well but those are the boxes so if you go to the drugstore just look for those pictures I used both of these because I knew one wouldn't be enough and I wanted to try two, two different ones just to kind of get you know a mix of um, some highlights and things like that in in the in the hair color this is the two shampoos that I used to wash out all of that dye and all the processing that I did with this hair um, the shimmering lights and then the other neutralizing and insulating shampoo and this is my final result from doing all of that and I was really pleased with it I definitely got that the color that I was going for which is you know kind of like a dark ash blonde color and I was able to reduce a lot of that brassy undertone which was quite difficult a lot more difficult than I thought but anyways hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comment section thanks like and subscribe I'll see y'all in my next video bye